Hello, I'm Rick Shree and welcome to Ray Report. So breaking news happening right now. President Joe Biden announces re-election bid, saying the battle for the nation's soul isn't complete. What does the president mean by those words? Now, take a look at how President Joe Biden announced his re-election bid earlier today. When I ran for president four years ago, I said we're in a battle for the soul of America. And we still are. The question we're facing is whether in the years ahead, we have more freedom or less freedom, more rights or fewer. I know what I want the answer to be, and I think you do too. This is not a time to be complacent. That's why I'm running for re-election. So that was how President Joe Biden announced his re-election bid earlier today. Now, a few questions arise. One, how has America fared in the international community and around the world? Has the country moved in the right direction since President Joe Biden and Kamala Harris took power some four years ago? Two, has Americans enjoyed more rights than ever? And three, has Americans enjoyed more freedom than ever as promised by the Biden-Kamala administration some four years ago? And finally, taking a look at the president's age, do you think it's good for him to seek re-election as majority of Americans from opinion polls indicated that hey the age of the president needs a replacement as an american what do you make of this course now cnn details a couple of potential candidates who are likely to contest in this upcoming 2024 election as the race to the white house begins and with biden's announcement this morning the 2020 presidential race is entering a new phase the field beginning to take shape Let's take stock of who's in and who's out and who still has yet to potentially declare. Here are the candidates we know are running now. On the Republican side, former President Donald Trump, former Governor and Ambassador Nikki Haley, former Governor Asa Hutchinson, conservative radio host Larry Elder, and businessman Vivek Ramaswathi, Ramaswamy. Excuse me. On the Democratic side, the declareds are... Obviously, the front runner, President Biden. Then there's Robert Kennedy Jr. and Marianne Williamson. Here are the potential candidates we are tracking, all of them Republicans. Mike Pence, Liz Cheney, Chris Christie, and yes, Ron DeSantis still has not declared. There is Christy Nome, Tim Scott, Chris Sununu, and Glenn Youngkin. So when are they going to end this guessing game one way or the other? But has this administration impressed Americans since taking power? So I'm Rick Shree and this is Ray Report. Thanks for watching and I will be bringing you more reactions from this. 